here inside Mayweather Boxing Club with undefeated Bantamweight, Rocco Santamaro. Just a couple days before his fight, Rocco. Woo! Got a little bat there. Yes, sir. Tell us about the camp. I know you've been out of action a little while, so tell us about this camp. Uh, this camp was good. Uh, had to get a job, so it was, uh, it was more of a detailed camp than, uh, than uh, my traditional uh, eight-hour-a-day workout kind of camp. Um, but I, I actually had three straight training camps that fell through, so I'm in very good, very good shape right now. So it's a good camp. Since you had to change kind of what you're doing, you said you got a job, weren't able to spend as much time. Are you worried about that affecting you at all and in, in your preparation for this fight? Not at all. We, we focused on detail. We got great spawn. We sparred with that Gleco. We sparred with three, four other guys. We got every different style down. Uh, did tons of altitude running, hard pad work. I mean, we're, we're, we're on top shape right now. Tell us about the job. How's that going? Job's going great, man. I actually uh, got promoted. So, you know, in a month and a half of work in there, so I'm working hard there and working hard So, there. any possibility you'll be retired for boxing then? And never. No. Never, <laughs> never, never. It's kind of sad, but whatever it happens. All right, now, you were on the card. You knew it, but you didn't know who you were fighting for a while. Just found out a few days ago who it was. Uh, anything that you know about this guy? He's a tough journeyman. He's never been knocked out. He's went the distance with Bill Santa Cruz. He's fought Eric Morrell. He has uh, 32 pro fights. I'm not taking him lightly. I'm gonna uh, go out there and be on top of my game. I know that he comes to fight, so I don't take any opponent in my day, regardless of what the record, bum, or whatever. The guy's got two arms, two legs, he come to fight. That's all there is to it. Well, you're 11 and 0. We 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 talked before. Um, you're kind of at a crossroads. Your career seems like here. You know, you're you're you had a few fights, but you're not getting quite where you want to be yet as far as your name value and that kind of thing, and getting getting the bigger fights with the attention. You know, what what is this fight? Is it anything extra in this fight for you as far as a fighter? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm fighting in front of the HBO crowd. They get to see who I am. They get to know who I am. Uh, this is a big fight for me. This is the biggest fight of my career, regardless, because uh, I'll be performing in front of the HBO people. They'll finally get to know who I am. I can steal the show, and they can love me, and we'll have a future. Are, are you kind of surprised that you're still not up there? I mean, like I said, you're 11-0. Bilingual, good-looking kid, Argentinian, but you look white. I mean, you're, you you kind of had the whole, you have a big mouth in a good way, I mean that, but are yeah. you kind of surprised that you haven't uh, moved up more quickly? Um, it's frustrating, but, but, but the time will come. You know, I had a year layoff. I should have way more fights than 11 fights right now. I should be 60, 70, you know, right now. And if I was in that position, I, I would be frustrated. But since I've had these setbacks, you know, maybe God slowed me down just a little bit, humbled me a little bit. No, I'm not I'm not trying to rush anything. I would like to be there, but I'm not there yet. So anything gonna be on the inside of your lip after this fight? Uh no, hopefully one day we'll put a little one in front of that nine, right? <laughs> you know? But uh but Tell us about that. Why why'd you put it for nine? I was going through a very, very, very hard time in my life and I wasn't sure if I was gonna win or if I was gonna be in the proper shape. So to add proper pressure, I went ahead and tattooed it on my lips to make sure I go out there and I win. You know, it sounds stupid to some people, but it was crazy. And uh, it, it ended up working out. Everybody saw it, the world got to see it. You know, so. Did you do it again? Oh, love you. Love you. I'll put that one there. <laughs> All right, Roka, what do we expect this weekend? It's it's the 31st at the uh, Tropicana here in Las Vegas. What do you expect uh, from expecting, yourself? I'm expecting to come out. I'm prepared to go eight rounds, but I want to get this guy the hell out of there. Uh, expect an entertaining fight for me as usual. I'm going to steal the show, like usual. So, expect all that. All right, best of luck, Roko. Appreciate Thank it. You, I appreciate it. Oh, that's